Scott Kerr wants to know why is it that some people are able to rep out 170 by 8 like nothing on the squat but struggle to hit 100 uh, then the likes of me can do 170 by 5 but I can do 200 so this is and he asked below is it a faster slow twitch thing it's not uh, realistically in in lifting of weights it's all fast twitch fibers you use power lifters use the same fibers weight lifters do their proportions might be slightly different but very 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 minorly right uh squatting and snatches do use the same fiber types and um, they're just being activated a small bit better or a small bit faster in the case of the snatch the people who are really good at doing high rep stuff are really good at doing high rep stuff because they have a certain capacity or they have a certain habit built up over time of being very very good at this Gurf classically would have been phenomenally good at sets of tens and sets of eights it's just something he was he's he has really good muscular capacity he enjoys for some fucking weird reason mm -hmm. doing high rep squats and he used to love doing them in training yeah and when he do them in training he found them to be really productive for a high rep squats. For high rep squats. <laughs> and that's it. Like, so that's Not why, for my 1RM or my lifting. Yeah, but you you spent a lot of time with high rep squats. I just really enjoy doing them. Yeah. So that's why like, it's people who are good at high rep squats do too many high rep squats. People who are really good at singles, like 170 by 5 and you can back squat 200. You're not a, you're not a million miles away from being all right there. You probably want to do 170 by 8 realistically um, to do 200. Like, but... You, you just need to find the middle of the road. You never want to be too good at either of those. You don't want to be not able to hit. Uh, you don't want to be like hitting 160 for five and being able to squat 200 for a single. Like that's not ideal because you won't have the necessary capacity for long-term training adaptation or continue training over the course of numbers of months. Like you need that that base and that foundation. Um, but the other way around as well, like you, you don't want to be the person who's doing 180 for eight and then missing 200 for a single. <clears throat> So usually what happens at this right is what we always see is people will just not be used to practicing heavier singles. So usually it's a skill thing. So people just won't end up actually doing more singles or practicing singles. So they won't periodize their training. What we'll often see is people will do something they like repeat workouts. So they'll be a big fan of repeating five by five or like five by three and they'll repeat this ad nauseum for months on end. And they'll, act, they'll get better at the five by five or the six by eight or whatever the fuck they're doing, you know. But at no point do they appear that I through different sets and reps and eventually slowly work in the capacity to do heavy singles. And so at no point do they ever go from being very good at higher reps, then transferring this over to moderate reps, then transfer this over to moderate to low reps, and then transferring this into singles. They literally just get very good at those reps forever. And then due to getting better at those reps, the certain percentages, their 1RM goes up a little bit. But if they periodize their training a little bit more aggressively and productively, they'd see that their one around would go up a lot more than that. You know, so very often it's a thing where it's just poor programming and not so much an individual skill. Now, of course, some people are better or worse, but it's not as much as you think. Most people are very, very similar unless they spend the sh unless, of course, as we're talking about, they spend a shitload of time doing that kind of training. You know, they, unless they spend a shitload of time focusing in on the wrong part of a certain training. Um. I've lost the ability to do very heavy high reps. Well, it's still there under the surface, but I actively don't do them that much in training. I've only once this year I've only done sets of tens and it's still following through for me now. It's still done what I needed to do. I did tens and eights for a couple of weeks. Um but I've actively stay away from higher rep sets because it was a skill I was too good at for a while and it doesn't productively help. At one stage, if I put in I think it was two twenty for f I think I did two twenty for fifteen reps. Or 14 reps maybe if you put that into one rm calculator it said my max is like 315 kilos like i did 200 for 19 i would have done 20 but if it's counted wrong girth didn't count and asked me to start counting halfway through i'm sorry no every reasonable person understand you can't possibly count underneath the marble but, but then then you just simply ask before you start i, I was out scratching my arse or something i definitely told you i'm gonna need you to count for this you didn't just probably you can hear it in the video you just weren't paying attention as usual uh, never, never pay attention 